Okay, so that's better. Sorry, I just went live a second ago. And um, so today we are welcoming on Shelley Hutchinson, who will be here, here in a moment. I'm actually sitting outside because my puppy woke up literally just as I was about to go live. So I've come outside to just give her a little breather of fresh air. But so I'm really excited to welcome Shelley today. She's been in the group before and um, I'm just gonna tag her so she knows to come on in. Here we go. She's already tagged, so hopefully she will see us and and join us. So, um, so hopefully you. There we go. So right here we go. Shelley says she's here. Shelley, I can't. I don't know that I can bring you on. Hang on one sec. Um, it's not giving me the option to bring you on. Hi, Tukunmo. Hi, Joy. Lovely, lovely to see you guys. Shelley, I don't seem to be able to bring you on. You need to be, um, here we go. Here we go. So, Shelley, hopefully this is gonna bring you on in a sec. So, for lots of you who are in the group, you know that I work with Shelley. I work Yay! With Shelley. <laughs> oh, fabulous to see you. Shelley, I hope you can hear me okay. Is it a bit windy or can you hear me all right? It's absolutely fine, it's, I can hear you fine. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, it's lovely to have you here again. This is the second time we've had a chat in the group. So I'm just, I'm really excited because I know that you've got lots to share with us today. So I'm going to dig straight in rather than doing any kind of chit chat. Fantastic. I can see Lucy's here, Anna Louise is here, Takonbo is here. So lovely to see you ladies. Thank you for joining us live. And if I'm looking down, it's because I've made some notes because there's stuff that I really want to ask Shelley in this call to, so that we all get the most out of it because she's been doing some fabulous work on how we can magnetize our dream clients, which I know that we all want to do. So welcome, Shelley. Thank you for being here with us today. And um, oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> so I know there's probably loads that you want to share with us, but I'm going to, if that's okay, I'm going to run through some of these questions that I've got in front of me. So Absolutely. Um, yeah. So one of the first things that lots of people talk about is about um, really standing out from the crowd and how their messaging can help them do that in what they now think is a really noisy and crowded marketplace. Is, is there anything that you can say or speak to in terms of that, in terms of powerful messaging or how we can really elevate ourselves above that noise? Absolutely. And I would say there is no noise when you have got a message that is directly speaking to your ideal clients and is absolutely 100% showing what your expertise is. You know, it really is um, encapsulating your expertise. So when you do that, there literally is no other noise for your ideal clients. So, so to you, you might be thinking, yeah, you might think, God, there's so many people out there. Everyone's got all their messages and stuff. But when you have that powerful marketing message that really is what it says, exactly what you do and how you help your ideal clients what happens is that the noise goes for your ideal clients and they're like oh my god this is this is what i need and a, a really interesting experience of it because i still even now when i say my marketing message my powerful marketing message i still am quite shocked by the results <laughs> okay so i had an experience at a um at a social media um sort of networking event it was it was really to learn about instagram and i had an experience where we were just everyone was introducing themselves there's about 40 people there we we're just doing a really quick introduction and i said my marketing message and introduced myself and um i had a feeling that the person behind me would be a good fit for what i do because when he said what he did it made sense but he lit i forgot afterwards i was so busy talking to other people and he literally walked up to me and said i really you know, I need to speak to you, you know, tell me more about what you do. I know it can help me. And, and I kind of went into like, uh, <laughs> because I was just, I was not, uh, you know, I was almost in off duty mode. <laughs> I was not really expecting it. And, but that's the impact of it. That's the impact that you have to actually get yourself ready for the fact that it, it just grabs people and yeah. your audience just start coming together, you know, coming to you. And that could be in a live event situation, or this can be on online when you put it out online it can have the same impact yeah. um but obviously i recommend any kind of you know whether it's an online event or offline event you know that's obviously most powerful people hear you say it that's obviously the the biggest the biggest point where you make the most impact and then you get that like 
oh my god now what do I do <laughs> Yeah, but you see, it, it's fabulous because actually that having that powerful message, that's when the magic happens, right? Because everything else starts just slotting into Absolutely. place. So, um, Absolutely. And it works on LinkedIn as well. So I've been testing this on LinkedIn. That's what's so funny is that I've started testing it on LinkedIn in connecting with people. And like literally, um, you know, it's like a two second thing. People come back to you and say, yeah, I'd love to have a call with you. And I had a person on the call this morning who was just like, um, yeah, so, so what you're offering is this, that's exactly what I need. Okay, so how do I go ahead? You know, yeah. like, it was just like, li like literally a 10 minute call. And that yeah. was it. So they decided. Because, so it's really strong. And so, um, well, let's talk a little bit about that then. Because once they have seen your message and they know that they want to connect with you, obviously you need to have some kind of process in place in order for them to connect with you. Or are we talking about, I mean, that's the beginning of your lead generation is how people find you, whether that's on LinkedIn or Facebook or wherever it might be. But then do you have a system in place for people to connect with you or build up that know, like, and trust factor? Can you tell us a little bit yeah, about what you yeah. would recommend to people for that? Absolutely. I mean, in, you know, we want to keep this simple. So I'm really learning a lot about how to simplify things because I've been on Facebook for years and it has got really complicated. Um, and what I've learned in the last few months on LinkedIn has basically turned on its head quite a lot of what I've been doing on Facebook. So essentially what I've learned is that the most important thing is your profile. So your profile on LinkedIn is the priority. On Facebook, your 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 page and then your group are absolutely the priorities for you. So the follow-up process is really orientated around reassuring your ideal clients that their first instincts that yes, you are the person they need to work with are accurate, <laughs> okay? And then when they do find out about your program, when they have a call with you, you want them to be ready to decide to go ahead. So in essence, you're, what you're doing with your online presence is you're giving people that reassurance. You're giving your ideal clients that reassurance as well as helping them to get to know you. You're also then reassuring them that actually you are an expert in your field. You do know what you're talking about and you have helped lots of people like them. Yeah. Um, and depending on how cautious your audience is, that's more or less important. So I find that leadership coaches or people who buy different businesses for, you know, for a living, they are like the, my ideal clients to an extent because they make a decision in 10 minutes. They don't have time to spend hours thinking about it. If they know, you know, they know before they get on a call whether they're going to work with you or not. Yeah. Um, but then I have other clients who typically are more transformational coaches who are probably more like me, that they would actually want to think things through really carefully. They might want to go away and read, you know, read through the details. You know, they aren't necessarily decided when they come onto a call. So depending on who your client base is, Think about, are they more of a cautious type of buyer or are they someone who just is an action taker and they make decisions just like that? In either case, it doesn't matter which, you know, whether they're cautious or they're an action taker. In both cases, they're going to need some kind of reassurance. So if you have a very strong online presence on, you know, on the, what's the platforms that are important for your audience. So for me, it's Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, for most coaches, I would say LinkedIn and Facebook are really important platforms. Um, you want to make sure you've got great content that's regularly being posted onto your you know, platforms, onto your feeds, on your profile, on your page, etc. cetera. Um, and it's content that's relevant to your ideal clients. So it's not about you, it's about them. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you're doing things like video, you know, and you're doing... Um, you know, you're doing blogs. Um, this is the basis of it. Um, this is, you know, that's what's going to help your audience get to know that actually you have solutions that are going to help them. So they'll read your blogs or watch your videos. That's going to help them with that process. Um, so, yeah, so they, I would say that that's what you're looking to create. Your content is basically reassurance. Yeah. That's how I would look at it. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, that's fabulous. And I'm sure lots of people now after this are going to go ahead and hop onto their LinkedIn and have a look through their profile because they might not have looked at it for months, which, you know, I, I talked in the group actually earlier this week or maybe it was last week about, um, you know, that I need to get more active on LinkedIn as well. I, start, I need to start doing more. I know lots of people feel that way about it as well. 
so if there are people who are out there who have been creating content and they've been kind of doing all of that kind of stuff, but they're still not reaching the revenue that they're hoping to reach and they're still not making the income that they feel that they should be with the hours that they're putting in, um, is there anything that they can be looking at in order to improve that scenario? Absolutely. So I, I typically say that if you're not attracting the right clients that you want to attract and you're not making the income you're looking to make, usually um, it's, it's because either one, you haven't got those key marketing decisions right for your business. Two, you haven't got the confidence to actually be visible with your business. Or three, which is the other one, is that you just don't have the online presence sufficiently there. Um, to to be able to give that reassurance to pe- to your audience when they start coming through to you, so you what I would say though first to keep it really simple is actually that for all of us it's important to go back and look at our key marketing decisions. So it doesn't you know a lot of people say to me you know well I've figured my niche out I figured out who my ideal client is and I've got my program so you know I don't know why I'm still not getting clients. Well, if you're not attracting the right clients or they're not able to afford to pay you, or um, you're getting some of the right clients, but not enough, you know, basically you need to come back to those key marketing decisions and we all have to do it regularly. I know it's, you know, it can feel a bit like, ah, you know, not again, but actually we get different insights each time we work through what our niche is, who our ideal client is. And as marketers, you know, we're literally constantly thinking about updating, refining, our understanding of who our ideal clients are. So this process, going through a process like this, where you review all these different marketing decisions you're making, is something that you really want to be doing regularly anyway. So if you haven't done it for three months, do it again. Yeah. <laughs> like kind of, and it's fun, you know. It's it fun. It leads fun. to and, more and, knowledge. And actually, and... Often we're reinventing ourselves, putting new offerings out there, pivoting slightly, and so that makes it exactly. more crucial to be doing that kind of thing. So, and also our clients exactly. change as well. Their needs change. And so we need to be able to adapt to those. So, um, totally. Okay, so I, I'm loving this because I feel like we're cramming a whole load of information in in quite a short space of time. So hopefully, uh, I've just scrolled through to make sure that there aren't any questions. But guys, if you're watching and you do have questions, then please, now is the time to ask them. Um, but I know that you've just launched a, a new challenge, a mag- magnetize your dream clients challenge so um i mean why can you just tell me i know a little bit about the content of that but why did you decide to do that sure yeah i well i decided to put this challenge together it's my first ever challenge i've always done webinars up until now or checklists or other kinds of content um but i put this challenge together because i got really frustrated seeing so many coaches who were just struggling to track the right clients So either some of them were not knowing how to get going, not knowing how to get launched, um, or they were going already and had been going for a few years, but still weren't really gaining the clients they wanted to work with and weren't weren't really making the impact that they're here to make. So I thought, look, what's what's the biggest impact I can make on them? And I thought, well, I, if I create a course, that would be the biggest impact. And then I thought, well, if I make it free, that's going to make it even more impactful because it's going to reach more people. And so that's how I came up with the Magnetize Your Dream Clients um, challenge. And it's getting you through those key decisions, taking you through deciding what your niche is, who your ideal clients are, what your signature coaching program is, and what your powerful marketing message is. Um, and even if you've done it, you know, done this process already, I promise you that this challenge is going to help you do it in a completely different way. <laughs> so some of my clients have been, have, who've been through this process numerous times with me on my programs have also done the challenge. Thanks, Kate, for your, your feedback yeah, there. Yeah, I can see that So Kate is one of them. And she's, you know, even she's found it really helpful. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really getting you, getting those key marketing decisions right and then bringing it all together into that powerful marketing message that's going to mean that you actually have your ideal clients come to you instead of the other way around. Because we want to stop trying to get clients, so capturing them with a noose around their neck. We, we want to get away from that because it's exhausting and, and just have them come to you. Create, create the right conditions that just draw them to you. Yeah, 
That's, that's absolutely right. I mean, I so I had an experience. I always tell people when they come onto my boot camp, you mustn't expect when you build a website that all of a sudden your clients are just going to rock up. It's like, you know, build it and they will come. It doesn't happen that way. And yet, actually, over the summer, I had several experiences where people found me on Google, looked at my website, and literally just said, I want to come on your boot camp. So when you get the messaging right, it is really powerful. It does. It can actually really happen. But you're right. And Takunbo says, I like the, that create your right conditions. So, um, so you've inspired me. So I actually want to go through your challenge, even though I have worked through <laughs> with lots of your students on their ideal clients yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So how do we, how do we sign up? Yeah, it's really easy to sign up for the challenge. Basically, um, what I'll do is I'll give you a link, Vicky. That's probably the easiest way. Um, but the other easy way is just to join my Facebook group. I've got a Magnetize Your Dream Clients Facebook group, which is just facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash client nectar, all one word. Um, if you just click to join that group and then you automatically will, will get access to the challenge. There's a, there's a link there to be able to, to actually just um, register for the challenge and get going with it. Perfect. Okay. Well, if you send me the link anyway, just in case people didn't catch I that, will. that URL. I will. Then, um, I will. And I can give you the direct link yeah, yeah, for, the, for the registration page. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, I'm just having a look to see if there's any questions. Sue, thank you for joining us. So, um, Kate, that's great input. Okay. So I don't think anyone's got any questions. Everyone's feeling quiet today. Wow. But, um, wow. <laughs> I've stunned everyone. I know. <laughs> But, um, but that's great. I mean, I'm really hoping that that's inspired people, especially to look at their LinkedIn profile, because I, if there's one takeaway from today, I would say that that is a really good one for you to be looking at your LinkedIn profile. And um, uh, Takumbo says, can one join the challenge at any time? I think I think Absolutely. Absolutely. Basically, this challenge is automated. So I wanted to I wanted a challenge that's going to basically be enable my, me to make the most impact on coaches around the world. So it's automated. It's going to be going, you know, continuously. You can also find it on my Facebook page as well. Um, it, I just want people to go through it and experience it. And in the group, there's been so much engagement, which has been fantastic. It's been lovely seeing people go through this challenge and they've been posting what they've been experiencing and their insights. Um, so fabulous. yeah it's a really supportive you know you'll get a lot of support as you go through it as well that's great Kate is saying how long will the, ch the challenge be live for so I'm gonna leave it live I'm not I've no plans to take it down um certainly this side of Christmas it will stay it will stay live um what I would say though is that if you're interested in doing the challenge I would do it sooner rather than later because I'm already starting to develop the next stage once you've done the challenge. So as you probably heard, I've started getting very excited about LinkedIn. Some of my results on LinkedIn have been absolutely phenomenal in the last few weeks. I mean, what, we, what was possible on Facebook and you know, having generated nearly seven figures in sales from Facebook, you'd think that I never wanted to leave Facebook. Well, I've actually kind of, found that in the last year Facebook hasn't been as great a platform for me as it previously was and so I've been investigating other platforms um, and LinkedIn was one that I knew my clients wanted help with so I've been putting a strategy in place for that in the last you know the last few months and I've been testing it myself and I've had phenomenal results so you know I've had literally maybe sent out about 70 contact requests to people. I've had um, 30 to 40 actually decide to connect with me. And out of that, I've had 10 people come onto calls. And of them, I'm getting, you know, potentially going to have six, seven new clients. Um, and that's all been turned around in two weeks. So that's, that's in a two week period. And actually, so really can... phenomenal. I can vouch for that. About 18 months ago, I had a really big push on LinkedIn where I was investing about half an hour a day on LinkedIn. And um, that was, I sent out a thousand, on, over a period of time, I sent out a thousand new requests, connection requests, 85% of them accepted. And it meant that I suddenly had a really powerful base of ideal clients within my connections. 
and um Absolutely. and i took on lots of new clients through that from people reaching out from me from there so i i agree but it does take a little bit of time i don't know if the strategy that you've been using has been less time consuming but what i was finding was i was trying to personalize all of my linkedin messages and so it is quite time consuming. yes i felt like that was what really drove my results so this um, is yeah this this is kind of part of the the, the magic of what what I put together because actually you don't have to personalize your messages so ah. um so essentially this takes me probably about two minutes oh really <laughs> to so do. are you so Kate's saying so, you're doing any sort of challenge or course using on about using LinkedIn more effectively I I will be doing a webinar okay so I will do a webinar um uh, you know, once I get a break from the number of people that keep wanting to talk to me, but um, I will be doing a, a webinar. I wanted, I want to have like a good, you know, like get to the end of the month. So have a month's worth of results to be able to share because this is just groundbreaking. Um, you know, th this is just, it changes the ball game all, all together in terms of lead generation and getting out to your ideal clients and the speed at which you can do that, um, you know, and, and just turn around, you know, um, yeah. it just alters everything so that's fabulous it's very oh, well, exciting great. yeah, well, yeah. We'll, we'll be really excited so keep us posted about your webinar and um yeah it's been fabulous thank you so much Shelley. yeah thank you for joining us yeah i can hear my puppy doing something destructive behind me so i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna the reason i'm outside is you probably missed it at the beginning but she she suddenly woke up literally as we were about to hop on live Aww. and i thought i better bring her outside um, to let her run around but she's behind me and I can hear that she's maybe chewing the bench that I'm sitting on so um, Fantastic. I'm sorry that I'm kind of al fresco but actually it's really beautiful out so it's been nice to have an opportunity yeah. to get some fresh yeah, air. Yeah no that's that's great I was actually just before you go I was just going to say that if if anyone is um, you know at a stage where they are wanting to take their business global and they're looking for some strategies to quickly bring new clients in um, then I'm very happy to do a call with you and show how you, you know, show you how you can start making more of an impact. I'd, I'd love to do that. So yeah. um, if, you know, I'll give you a link also to be able to book a call and um, I can just talk you through some of these strategies that are going to just explode your business. You just got to get ready for the explosion. Well, God, that would be fabulous, wouldn't it? Everybody's <laughs> wanting one of those explosions. That's a good problem to have. But, um, it is a good problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> So perfect. Thank you, Shelley. If you send over those links, I'll post them into the comments. And um, and yeah, I hope everyone's getting lots of value from this. Thank you for joining live, guys. And uh -huh. um, we will, well, Shelley, I will be speaking to you over the next few days. But um, yeah, have a wonderful weekend. I feel like it's almost there. We're almost at the end of Thursday. Um, wow. All right. Enjoy the rest of the week, everybody. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>